Hello Primary 3, how are you today? Last video we talked about the mass and we said that mass is the amount of matter in the object, right? Or how heavy the object is, right? Okay, so we have small masses and we have big masses. Big masses like fruit and vegetables and small masses like ring or bracelet or necklace. So how to measure or how to know the mass? To know or to measure the mass? We need to use a measuring tool. We need to use a measuring tool. So from these pictures, can you guess the measuring tool of the mass? Super. So the measuring tool of the mass is the balance. Like the game that you play. So the measuring tool of mass is balance. So we have two masses. Big mass and small mass, right? So we need a measuring tool for big mass and we need a measuring tool for small mass. So we have here two balances. For big masses, we have common balance. This is called common balance. So we use common balance for fruit and vegetables or for big masses. The small masses like necklace or ring. We use another type of balance which called Sensitive balance, sensitive balance. This is the sensitive balance. It's called sensitive because it feel any tiny mass, any tiny mass. It feel the small, the very, very, very small masses. So it called sensitive balance, sensitive balance. So the small masses we use sensitive balance. So primary three. How to know this is a big mass or a small mass? How? How to differentiate between big mass and small mass? How? To differentiate between them, we need to use a measuring unit. We need to use a measuring unit. So when I have one kilogram, this is a big mass. So the measuring unit of the big masses is kilogram, kilogram. So the measuring unit of big masses like fruit or vegetables, hmm, kilogram, super. About the small masses like necklace or ring, we need another measuring unit. So, the measuring unit of small masses is gram. So, when I have 1 kilogram and 1 gram, so I will say that 1 kilogram is for big mass and 1 gram is for small mass. Super. So, small masses we use measuring unit gram. So, the measuring unit R, kilogram for big mass and gram for small mass. So the apple or fruit or vegetables, big mass or small mass, big mass. So the measuring unit, kilogram in the measuring tool. Hmm, common balance, super. So one kilogram equal 1,000 gram. One kilogram equal 1,000 gram. Can you tell me the rooster? We use for the rooster common balance or sensitive balance. Super, super, common balance, why? Because the rooster is a big mass. How about the ring? The ring is a small mass. Hmm. So we will use a common balance or a sensitive balance. Small mass, so we will use sensitive balance, super. How about the carrots? Carrot is a vegetable, so carrot is a big mass, so we will use common balance, super, clap for yourself. If we have one kilogram of grapes, how many grams in one kilogram of grapes? Super, big clap for yourself. So one kilogram of grapes equal 1,000 gram of grapes. Super. So we have here some questions. Question number one, complete. Number one, what is measured by balances? Measured by balance. So balance is a measuring tool of mass. So the magic word here, balance. So when I see balance, I will say mass, right? So mass is measured by balances. Number two, the unit of small masses is what? Why the unit of big masses is what? When you see the magic word unit and small mass, now we will talk about the measuring unit of small mass which is super gram while the unit of big mass so the magic words here unit 
and big mass. So now we talk about the measuring unit of, of big mass. So we talk about kilograms. Super. Number three. We measured the mass of a ring by what? We measure so we need a measuring tool. And we talk about ring. So ring is a small or big mass? Small mass. Super. So we need the measuring tool of small mass. Hmm. Sense the balance. Super. Number four. Gram is a unit of measuring what? We have here two magic words. Gram and unit. So, gram is the measuring unit of small mass. So, here, gram is a unit of measuring small mass. Super. Number five, the tool that used to measure the mass of fruit and vegetables is. The magic words here is tool. We have here tool. So, we need the measuring tool. Of what primary three? Fruit and vegetables. Fruit and vegetables are big mass or small mass? Big mass, super, so we need the measuring tool of big mass, which is super, common balance. Question number two, write the scientific term. Number one, a unit that is suitable for measuring big masses. So the magic word here, unit and big masses. We need the unit of big masses. Huh? Kilograms, super. Okay, number two, a tool used to measure the mass of jewelry. The magic words here, tool, and we have here, mass of jewelry. Jewelry like ring or bracelet or necklace, they are big masses or small masses, small masses. So we need the measuring tool, the tool of small masses. Hmm, sense the balance, super. Okay, number three, a tool used to measure the mass of any body, like us, like your body. So we are big masses, right? So we need the measuring tool. Of big masses. The measuring tool of big masses is common balance. Super. Question number three. Compare between small mass and big mass in tools and units. The tool or the measuring tool of a small mass is super. Sensitive balance. How about the big mass? Common balance. Super. You are a big, big, big super. Okay. Number two. The units. The units of small mass is hmm, gram or kilogram. Small mass, so it will be gram. Super. How about the big mass? Super. Kilogram. Excellent, boys and girls. This was our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Goodbye.